Hello guys, my name is Rocky E. Heroche and I'm BSHM 3rd Year B. My report is all about 7 steps to effective decision making. Decision making is the process of making choices by identifying a decision, gathering information, and assessing alternative resolutions. Using a step-by-step decision-making process can help you make more deliberate, thoughtful decisions by organizing relevant information and denying alternatives. First step, identify the decision. You realize that you need to make a decision. Try to clearly deny the nature of the decision you must make. This rest step is very important. Additional for that, what is the problem on hand, what is the objective to be achieved, and how the decision will impact people or the organization. Last is urgency and criticality of the decision. Step 2. Gather relevant information. Collect some pertinent information before you make your decision. What information is needed, the best sources of information, and how to get it. This step involves both ex- internal and external work. It is important to gather all relevant information about the decision to be made with regards to above mentioned points. It will include identifying all various parties, stakeholders who will part of the decision, how the decision will be impact different groups or individuals or the organization. Step 3. Identify the alternatives. As you collect information, you will probably identify several possible paths of action or alternatives. You can also use your imagination and additional information to construct new alternatives. In this step, you will list all possible and desirable alternatives. We need to identify clearly all the available alternative options paths or action for the decision to be made. Step 4. Weigh the evidence. Draw on your information and emotions to imagine what it would be like if you carried out each of the alternatives to the end. Evaluate whether the need identified in step 1 would be met or resolved through the use of each alternative. As you go through this difficult internal process, you will begin to favor certain alternatives, those that seem to have a higher potential for reaching your goal. Finally, place the alternatives in priority order based upon your own value system. Evaluating all the options with their pros and cons need to be carried out. Step 5 choose among alternatives. Once you have weighed all the evidence, you are ready to select the alternative that seems to be the best one for you. You may even choose a combination of alternatives. Your choice in step 5 may very likely be the same or similar to the alternative you place at the top of your list at the end of step 4. Choose the best alternative based on the above careful analysis of all the alternatives. Step 6. Take action. You're now ready to take some positive action by beginning to implement the alternative you choose in step 5. Implement the actions associated with the alternative path or options being selected. And last is step 7. Review your decision and its consequences in this final step. Consider the result of your decision and evaluate whether or not it has resolved the need of your identity in step 1. If the decision has not met the identity need, you may want to repeat certain steps of the process to make a new decision. For example, You may want to gather more detailed or somewhat different information or explore additional alternatives. We need to analyze the outcome achieved after the implementation of the action selected in the above step. 
and that's could be all thank you